Hey y'all, today I decided to make a little hair video. This is how I straighten my naturally very curly hair. The tools that I use are of course, a hair straightener, heat protectant, a regular kind of brush, um, a few claw clips, and a teasing brush. This is the most important tool. So to start, there's lots of ways to section the hair. I personally do a middle part and then I break up each side into half and half. So the very first step is I always brush the hair out. Then I will do heat protectant over the whole side. And brush that through. Okay, and then I like to put uh, less hair on the top section because the top section is more difficult than the bottom section and also I feel like on my specific hair the bottom section of hair straightens faster and easier so it's fine for it to have a little more hair. So I just put my finger in the back and in the front round eyebrow level and I will separate that out. Does not have to be perfect. I then twist the hair up and I will clip it. Okay, let's do the other side. Here we go. And then I'll do the whole bottom section, then I'll take down the right section and do that section, and then this is the last section always. A thing that I use that I forgot to mention is a heat glove. Now this is not a real heat glove. Y'all, this is like a little children's glove <laughs> that I've just randomly held, held on to for many years, but it works all the same. The hair gets so hot that I personally think I need to use this. So I hold it, I put it on my left hand and I hold the hair with my left hand and I hold the straightener with my right hand as my right hand is the dominant hand. All right, so I am gonna get started. I do sometimes bigger or smaller sections, but I would say this amount of hair is what I typically do. Make sure to use a teasing brush because this is actually what like straightens out the hair and is actually gonna help do the work so it's not the straightener by itself. So I will simply brush it and then pass over it with the straightener. Usually about two passes is enough for me, as you can see. Now, one other tip that I uh, always do that I don't really see other people talk about is I like to use one of these kinds of clips and I will clip the hair that I just did so that it stays sort of like flat and doesn't get tangled in with the hair that I am working on because otherwise like I feel like when you are brushing it especially if I brush it this way it just always like picks up hair from this section and then you know it gets it gets all messy so use a clip like this to keep this hair out of your uh, out of your way and I actually will also just like bite it <laughs> to hold it away so that's also another tip Perfect, and then I can just add it in. I use my straightener on a pretty high heat because I have, you know, uh, natural African American hair. Um, and uh, I found that when I have turned it down, uh, it just really, 
truly does not work as well and I'm just doing so many passes over the hair, which I personally think is a little bit worse than using a high heat on and, use, and doing less passes. I will also sometimes kind of like um, flip the ends up just so they look nice in the end result. Um, and every couple of sections, I will brush the completed hair together as well. Sometimes these um, buns are like a little too low and it keeps like interfering with the hair underneath. So I just try to like pull it up a little bit more. This section is a little too big, honestly. Okay. Just be careful, don't burn your ears. It hurts so much. <laughs> You notice I do kind of hold the straightener more up and down. I feel that it can reach the length of the root a little better than if I were to like try and do this. It's also like quite easy to hold it up and down versus like having to, you know, put your elbow all the way out to uh, hold the straightener horizontal. When you have back a back section like this, it's better to start from the bottom and then work your way up to the top because when you try and do a top section, it, you're, like, you're having to kind of hold it like over the bottom uh, and I find that the result is not as smooth. of my hair is already done. Um, <laughs> if you are a black girl, you know, you probably remember the struggles of straightening your hair when you were a kid. It seems like it used to take literally hours, but when you have the right tools and the right technique down, it, it seriously just goes by so much faster. So now I'm just going to separate the hair that is completed again and put it in, that, in a ponytail. And now we can work on the right side. So I'll just take this down and brush it out. And I would say um, if your hair is really heat damaged or like chemical damage from um, coloring it or whatnot, 
then maybe you should spray more heat protectant on the top layer of hair because the top layer of hair is always more damaged than the underside because the sun directly hits the top of the hair all like pollution and just like um wind hits the top of the hair whereas the underside of the hair is kind of protected so um literally the, you might notice that the top part of your hair is even always a little bit shorter than uh, the under part of your hair so you may need to double protect the top layer of your hair uh, I have ver this is virgin hair this hair has no chemicals or color in it at all uh, and so I don't really feel the need to do that but back when I had relaxed and colored hair I definitely did that so now my technique for straightening this part is a little bit different because it's kind of hard to straighten the top because your head is you know very curved here so first I just um, take a section and I just uh, do a straight line down and then I always break this section into two sections. So I'll kind of just swoop this part away and do the bottom side first and then the top side second. And this just allows it to get really straight without doing a billion passes and it kind of work for no reason. So I will do this. Also helps to get really close to the scalp and get your, those baby hairs. Okay, and then I'll do this section. get excited when this part comes and I'm like yes I'm almost done <laughs> And if you're like me and you live in Arizona and if it's summertime and it's the middle of the day when you're doing this, you might need a cool down break. Oh. Oh, that feels good. Okay, break's over. Let's finish this up. Last 
It is complete. Let's go. Okay, I will split the hair down the middle, brush it all out, and brush it all together. This, this front piece got slightly wavy. So I'm just going to fix that. Okay, and then I highly recommend this. You don't need to use a lot, but at least a little. Put some hair oil in. This is um, some extra virgin olive oil. I just put like about this much. And put this in your ends. If you want to grow your hair long, you need to take care of the ends of your hair every single day. You need to put some oil on the ends every single day. It's going to uh, keep them, you know, as healthy and moisturized as possible, uh, which will prevent it from breaking off, which just keeps your hair going shorter and shorter. So, always oil the ends. It is done. I think I'm just going to keep this part for now because I'm not really even doing anything. I'm just about to sit on the couch and edit and upload this video today. So I don't really need to do anything else. Now, let me show you how I handle the discarded hair. So once you have all the like loose hairs out of your brushes, you can put those away. And you're left with this. So first of all, all you have to do is uh, remember that hair attracts hair and hair is very good uh, to be used to pick up more hair. So literally just start grabbing it and start rolling it into a circular motion, kind of like a ball. Try to kind of scoop it, scoop it, scoop it from the sides. Okay, and that's gonna do a pretty good job of getting most of the hair away, throw that away. Okay, and so what you'll mostly be left with is just like small little broken hairs. Um, if you're left with a lot of those, consider that it might be time to trim your hair. Because again, that is the ends of your hair, um, like the really tiny little ends just completely breaking off. Uh, and if you, you can't just leave that girl, you can't just leave that like that. Your hair is never going to grow. It's going to continue to break off and just get shorter and shorter. And then also it's going to make your hair uneven. There's going to be parts of your hair like the underside um, that are going to stay longer. Whereas the parts that are in the front of your face are going to just break off and be so, so short. So make sure to trim your hair get a haircut or just um, look up some videos on YouTube on how to trim your own hair. But um, to clean up these little hairs, I will just take a baby wipe or you could even just use a regular cleaning rag and I will just wipe them away. And this also kind of wipes away any kind of like hair oil and residue that was left over from you straightening it. So I will just do that mostly over the whole counter and it is left pretty clean with no straight hairs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about straightening your hair for my tips and tricks. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video.